taking cold porcelain and this is just an air dry clay. Um, I'm going to smush that and then add a drop of pink and purple acrylic paint. And what I'm doing is just smushing it in to mix in the color because I want a light purple. Um, then I'm going to smush this and flatten it out to create the base of the candy shape. And I'm going to take a toothpick and create two dents on the sides to create that outer wrapper part. And I'm going to smush the center and then smush the side to make it like fan out. And again, create two dents. And now I'm just going to um, fix the shape a bit because it looks really ridiculous right now. And I'm taking a little bit of water just to smoothen everything out because um, sometimes with this clay it uh, starts to crack when you mess with it too much and it starts to dry out. And especially since mine is a bit old, it's um, harder to work with. So you might not have that problem. Um, then I'm going to take another piece of clay and smush that into an oval. Add a little bit of water using my finger. I added way too much here, but you get the idea. And then I just place that in the center for the candy. Now I'm just going to add some more water just to erase some of the dents. I kind of um, pressed it a little too far in than what I wanted. And then flipped it over on the back to um, smush everything into one piece. And now I'm just taking the plastic that I put my water in to help me flatten it out. So I'm just smushing it on top. And when I flip it back, everything's nice and flat. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just like my rings to be kind of not sticking out. Now I'm going to take um, some nail art rhinestones. And I'm picking them up by using a little bit of water on the tip of the toothpick. It picks them right up. And I'm just going to place them all on top of the clay and you can see that the clay is also a little bit wet just to help me move them around a bit more. And after I've placed everything, I'm just going to smush the um, rhinestones in to make sure that they're well placed. And you can also make the dents before you place the rhinestone. So you make the dent and then you place the rhinestone. Or you can do it the opposite. You place the rhinestone and then dent it inside. Um, so I just did uh, three lines of rhinestones on the sides and I'm taking the same purple acrylic paint and making a swirl using um, a thin paintbrush. And I'm going to place that um, on the dent as well. And then I'm going to outline the whole candy. And then taking a white I'm going to um, Add some highlights and um, make another swirl. So like outlining the purple swirl. So I have something like this. And this is basically it. Um, if a rhinestone falls off, it's okay. Just let everything dry and um, you'll be able to put it back together later. I'm going to take... Um, a piece of wire and this nail polish bottle just to create the ring shape. I've shown how to do this before. Basically I just take a piece of wire and I wrap it around. I think I wrapped it around like four times in this ring. I'm not sure. And then with the ends that are sticking out what, are you gonna, what you're going to do is just um, bend it using um, pliers and then wrap the piece around to stick everything together. Like I said also in the other video where I showed how to do this, I'm not good at um, making wired rings, so go ahead and glue it on to um, an adjustable ring that's for crafting or look up some other tutorials on how to do wired rings if you want to do it with wire because mine is not the best <laughs> at all. Um, I'm still learning. So mine's kind of like the not that good. And then I just used the pliers to kind of flatten out um, everything. 
And once I was done with both sides that were sticking out, I kind of bent it because it ended up being too big and I didn't want to redo it. So I just um, bent the edges to make it like a gum, a gum, gum drop shape. I don't know why I forgot the word. Gum drop shape. And I'm just going to take um, either crazy glue or super glue. Or this is the same thing. <laughs> crazy glue or a hot glue gun. My goodness. Um, just to glue it together. <laughs> And you can see that it's like a little bit tilted because I ended up using a hot glue gun and um, those things freak me out a bit. So I got it to work quickly and I ended up slanting it a little bit, but oh well. Um, <laughs> so this is the finished thing. What I did to protect the, um, the rhinestones and seal everything in and protect the acrylic paint is I just used a clear nail polish and went over the top of the candy. Um, if you have a clear acrylic paint or any type of sealer that's specifically for crafts, that would be great. But if you don't, um, you can just use a clear nail polish. So, yeah. I hope you guys like this tutorial and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.